There's fish. There's a big one. There's a good steely. What is going on, everybody? Matt with Outdoor Believing, and we are back, and we are at it again. And as you can tell behind me, we are on the river. We are in northern Michigan, and we are in the search for some giant steelhead. Um, I cannot be more excited to be here right now. The water is perfect if you can't tell from the color. It's come up. It's got just a little color to it. It just looks fishy. Steelhead are in. They're running. And hopefully we can get into a big hen because I want some spawn. I'm still on the mission for a big hen steelhead to get some spawn or skein uh, for the upcoming trout season. On this river, we can only keep one steelhead. So hopefully it's a hen if I, if I get one. Um, if I get a male, I might release it. I don't know. It just depends. I might do a little bit of lunch out here. We'll see. Um, either way, thanks for coming along. We're going to see if we can find some big fish and, uh, hopefully we can get a nice one on camera. So stay tuned. All right, guys, like I said, we're in Northern Michigan. We're going for steelhead. And this is the setup we're gonna start off with today. Um, if you guys go back and watch my other video, I actually got a smaller male steelhead earlier this uh, last week. So thanks for coming along this week. I'm looking for a big hen on this river. We can only keep one. So that's the goal to get one nice female steelhead for spawn or skein, and then maybe do a lunch on the river. Um, either way, we're using our 10 and a half foot Okuma guide select rod. I have a 10 pound fluoro mainline down to a three way swivel, a couple split shot, five pound test right now. If I have to go heavier, I will. And just a very small number eight uh, short shank hook. And we are gonna tip it with just a little bit of spawn in a chartreuse bag. Um, we're gonna flow at the bottom. This is what got, got me a steelhead last week. Um, hopefully can do the same either way we have beads we have spawn we have night crawlers we're going to do everything we can to get this bait or a bait in front of a steelhead and hopefully they bite it um, let's get going this water looks so gorgeous and you guys might not be able to see it as well as i can but there's a nice gravel run here i fished this in the past goes down into a hole up on another gravel now these steelhead, they're gonna be spawning. So they're gonna be looking for the gravel. We're gonna be looking for beds. Um, and if they're not on the beds yet, they might be down in the holes just waiting. So we're gonna try a couple bottom rigs first. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna to switch to a couple float rigs in some of the bigger holes that I know of. And let's get some fish. I cannot think of a better way to spend my morning right now than being in this amazingly beautiful scenery. The sound of the river, it's just, it's so peaceful out here. So right now, like I said, what we're doing is we're just bouncing it off this gravel run right now down into this deep spot because I'm not seeing any fish on these gravel uh, spots yet. There's one bed down right there. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm hoping there's some here. There might be some in the back end, um, but we're gonna try that too. You never know, we might even hook into a big brown. Can't keep those this time of year, but that'd be an amazing fight. Browns fight so hard. And it is cold today. It's like 25 degrees right now, but Michigan has sucked for spring right now. <clears throat> sucked for, for winter. Now it sucks for spring because it just won't won't get into like good spring first day of spring was a couple days ago and it's just it's ready but we're supposed to get like four inches of snow tomorrow so hopefully we can get one today because i don't know when the next time i'll be out i'm really curious uh guys on a river like this what is your go-to rig do you like bottom fishing or do you like float fishing 
Um, do you find those deep holes? Nope, that wasn't a fish. Or uh, do you hit the gravel runs? Are you just looking for beds? Um, what's your favorite bait? Beads? Wow, lures, spinners, beads, spawn, worms? Throw it in the comments. We're gonna try night crawler. See if that changes anything. So with that, I just hook it through the head, twist it, and go back in. And then I only use half a crawler, so I break it in half to start. And that's what we got. We're gonna see if this works any better. I know I said this last time too, but I forgot my net today and this was not the day to do it because the bank's here. I am in the market for a better net. Um, not only because I forget mine, but I just, I'm not a huge fan of mine. So what type of nets do you guys like? What do you recommend for me? Oh, there is a fish. Dang it. I messed that up. That was my fault. Yeah, there's a bite right there. Come on, take it. There's a fish. Oh, I got. Oh, this is a steelhead, guys. We got one. We got one on. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is a tough spot. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Stay this way. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful fish. All right, come on. Come back this way. Come back this way. All right. I gotta give it a little, a little slack. It's five pounds. Oh, he came off, he broke off. No. He didn't, he popped the hook. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That was my fish, man. Just, I was playing around with him too much. He ended up pulling the hook out. Oh, that was a beautiful hen. Colored up. Great line down the side. Hopefully you guys saw a little bit of it. We're going to give it a go again. That was on a night crawler. We're going to see if we can get another fish. That was awesome. That was awesome awesome man <sighs> compose myself let's get back to fishing let's get another one <sighs> looking at it oh he actually bent the hook out a little bit oh that stinks i'm gonna change hooks It's probably not the smartest idea, but it looks juicy. I should be fishing this hole from the other side. All right, switching back to spawn. New spot, try an orange bag. This is a beautiful run. Wish I was on the other side, two problems. Don't have a spot to cross right now, and my hole, my waders have a hole in it. Definitely thought there'd be more steelhead in the system, or on beds at least. But, I mean, it could be a little early yet. It is only March, but 
Maybe we'll see. Good part is, I don't see anybody up here. This is definitely where I want to fish. Yeah, right down there. Looks like a good spot. There's a bite, come on. There's a little bite, I don't know what that was. Come on. There's fish. There's a big one. There's a good steely. Part is I got a lot of open water here. That was the littlest bite ever. This is a nice fish. I wish I had my net right now. All right. That's my fish, baby. Come on. All right. This is a really nice fish. All right, we're gonna get him over here. It's a nice little spot. Try and get him down here to the beach. There's some shallows. Look at the chrome on that fish, baby. Right there, there it is. All right. Oh, I just stepped in mud. All right. Oh, heck yeah, baby. Oh, we did it. We did it. Yes, look at that beautiful fish. Holy crap, guys, I am out of breath. Look at where is it hooked? Right in the corner of the mouth. I can get my hemostats. There it is. Look at that gorgeous. Gorgeous fish, fresh, still chromed up. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I am so pumped right now. Maybe there's some skein or spawn in it. We'll see. I'm gonna get this up through there. This is definitely legal fish. They only have to be 10 inches here. Let's get this baby in the water. All right. We're gonna tie this off for a minute. Keep her right out there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am jacked with that fish. That is such a beautiful hen, super chrome. It's just, it's to be able to catch it on this beautiful, beautiful river right out of that hole right there and it was on a five pound leader and a small little number eight hook and you know ultralight fishing for steelhead on a river you cannot beat it it's a gorgeous day right now and i'm just super pumped to have this fish we're gonna cook it up in just a little bit we're gonna do a steelhead and avocado omelet and cheese that just sounds delicious it's gonna be some great eats um, so as of right now, let's get back to fishing and hopefully we can hook into one or two more. Oh, all right. Can we pull another fish out of that same hole? Who knows? There's another bite. Come on. There's a fish. There's another one. Small fish. 
small fish. What do we got? Is this a little brown trout? I think this is a little brown trout. Come on, buddy. Nice little brown. Come here, buddy. Chubby little guy. All right, so with trout that you're gonna release for sure, always wet your hands. Oh my gosh, this is a butterball. So calm down, bud. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous brown trout. Let's get the hook out of his mouth, right in the corner. It's out. All right. Beautiful brown trout. Let's let him go. Here you go, bud. He gone. Here she is, guys. Look at this beautiful steelhead. Man, chrome coming up to spawn. I'm super pumped. We're gonna see if there's any spawn or scan in here, but first, we're gonna bleed this fish out real quick. Got my knife. I'm just gonna cut the gills. Both sides. So I like to cut the gills and bleed the fish out in the water because that constant circulation of water going through the gills is gonna pump that blood out. It's gonna make those fillets nice and orange, hopefully, and there's gonna be no blood in them. It's gonna make the skein even cleaner if there is any in there, and it just makes for a better quality fish. It's just a little tip of the day. All right, we got the fish blood out. It's a little bigger than my cutting board, but first thing we're gonna do we're going to check to see if there's any skein in it. Nothing. It's definitely a female, but there is no skein in this. So I'm going to take the guts out. Unfortunately, there's no spawn or skein in her. So I don't know if she already spawned out or... She had to have, so anyway, um, I don't have a flay knife on me. I just got this knife. We're going to do the best we can. We're actually just going to flay it directly on here. We're just going to follow the backbone. Look at the color on that meat. Just nice and orange. We're gonna get these rib bones out. Now there are pin bones in here and I'm gonna take that home and pull those out later, but I'm gonna eat probably about this much right now. there we go we're gonna go clean this off look at that gorgeous flesh on that fish nice and orange we're gonna wrap this in paper towel just to keep it clean right now all right let's get to cooking Throw some butter in there you know me we're gonna do some everglades original we got our filet generously season that up there 
All right, now the butter's melted. If you guys could smell the smells coming from this right now, you would be really jealous. The fish is done. We're gonna take it off. Set it on the cutting board. And then, unfortunately, I cracked one of the eggs, but this will still work. One. Two. Pour a little bit of cheese on there. little bit more Everglades and then we're gonna let that go and put the steelhead back on all right I can't wait for the omelet to be done I'm gonna try a little piece of this tail section this looks fantastic a little crisp to it let's try it Oh my God, this was swimming like a half hour ago. So fresh, so light. Everglades on that is so good. In the omelet, that's gonna be delicious. So let's get back to cooking. I cannot wait to eat all this. Throw a little avocado. Steelhead. Put all that on there. this a flip oh no I don't think I let it go long enough all right guys here we go steelhead and avocado and cheese omelet oh I cannot wait it, I haven't eaten anything all day let's give this a go a little bit of everything right there look at that oh my goodness oh. what i don't know if it's because because i'm hungry or because i have been outside all day a meal on the river i mean look at this backdrop that i have it's just fantastic It's hot. Who is hot? That is just so good. Everglades original on that steelhead and in the eggs with the avocado and cheese and the omelet. What? This is fantastic. Holy crap. I'm going to mow down on the rest of this. That's all I got for you today. It's been a blast out here. There's been a couple people that I've seen go by in boats, a couple people wading. Steelhead are in, get out on a river and go fishing. This is just beautiful. Having a hot meal on the river, you can't ask for anything better. And I'm so thankful, so thankful for that steelhead today. It was so fun. Unfortunately, it didn't have any spawn or skein in it. We'll be back out for sure, trying to get some skein or some spawn. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. That's all I got for you today. So until next time, you guys, have a good one.